Hi everyone, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. So in this particular video, we'll be understanding the concept of EPS. So EPS is nothing but an acronym for Enterprise Project Structure in Primavera P6. So in the last video, we talked about the organizational breakdown structure, which was basically made to assign a particular responsible manager to a certain project. Like we saw that suppose if a certain project of construction will come, then R Balaji will be uh, assigned that particular project. Now we will be discussing about the enterprise project structure. See, enterprise project structure is nothing but it is all about the divisions and departments in a certain company. Like Wales Private Limited, we have seen it has certain departments like energy services, construction, maintenance, and technology services. Now, if a project of maintenance will come, we cannot assign that project directly to Wales Private Limited. So, so to bring clarity of the projects, we have to make EPS. The project of maintenance should be assigned to the maintenance EPS only. Similarly, the project related to residential flats construction or maybe IT park construction will be allotted to the construction enterprise project structure. So this is where the concept of EPS comes into picture to uh, bring the clarity of projects like o OBS was required to bring the clarity of people. Similarly, to bring the clarity of the departments and projects, this EPS is required. We'll understand it through Primavera P6. Okay, so how to create EPS? First of all, you need to go to the tools bar. You need to go to enterprise. Then without even expanding, you can uh, take uh, enterprise project structure. You need to click. Then you will see there will be no EPS as of now because we are freshly coming into Primavera. So we will use this add button to create one EPS. So the first EPS, the major EPS will be our Wales Private Limited, which will have further four subcategory of EPS, which is nothing but your energy services, your construction, maintenance, and technology services. So the first is Wales Private Limited. So let us give any particular EPS ID. It, it, it might be of your choice. It doesn't matter. EPS ID, you can assign anything. Just it should be unique. EPS name will be Wales Private Limited. Okay, so we have created the main EPS. Now you have to assign the responsible manager also to this EPS. From here you can assign EPS ID you can change from here also name also, but you have to assign the manager also. So you can filter by all OBS elements. See earlier only R Pandey was being shown here, but what I did is I clicked here and I went to filter by and instead of current EPS projects, I chose all EBS elements. Okay, so I will choose R Pandey automatically by default it is showing R Pandey only and you know from the presentation that R Pandey is the managing director for Wales Private Limited. So Wales Private Limited EPS will be given to R Pandey only. Now under Wales Private Limited we have four further EPS. So we will click add four times. So the very first EPS is your energy services. So let us choose ES as energy services. So this is energy services. And this particular EPS will be assigned to the responsible manager who is M Sahu. So you will click M Sahu, then you will click this particular button of select plus, and then you will go to the next EPS, which is nothing but your construction. So you will choose IDS, CONS, whatever you want, you can choose. You can choose CS also, but it should be unique. That's it. Construction. So the construction is being headed by R Balaji. So we will go here and click on R Balaji and click on select. So the construction business will be assigned to R Balaji now. So whatever projects will come under construction business now that will by default go to R Balaji. Suppose if I want to add a new project of IT park inside construction EPS, then it will automatically be assigned to R Balaji. So this is the concept of EPS. Now third is our maintenance. So M E N let's say maintenance is M E N maintenance so this will be assigned to g swami okay now the last eps is nothing but your technology services let's say ts technology services and this will be assigned to n nandi Okay, so we have created four EPS. Suppose if you want further any EPS, then you can add and you can choose that this EPS should be placed at which position using these arrows. Suppose if you want this particular EPS to be under 
construction suppose for example if you take the example of lnt construction then lnt construction has several divisions inside construction sector also like buildings and factories then your uh, waste water and effluent treatment then your transportation infrastructure so suppose if you want under construction some further divisions then you can go here and you can click on this particular arrow to make it under construction and you can assign this for example b and f is your buildings and factories so this particular division takes only the projects related to your buildings and your factories similarly you can assign any other department also under construction or maybe another other eps so right now we are deleting this because this is not in our scope okay so we have successfully created the eps but if you click on this display eps and you go to the chart view then you can see here that some chart is coming but it is not visible to you properly so what to do you can choose the zoom option and you can choose zoom to best fit now it is clearly visible but i think some text color or maybe colors are not that good so we will change the colors also no issues we will go to chart font and colors we will choose the font maybe let it be uh, font is fine with us maybe size you can increase if you want okay so size must be between 10 and 10 points okay so let us cancel this right now uh, back color maybe we will choose blue and box color maybe we will choose pink let's say so we will click okay so now the uh, readability is i think better let it be whatever it is so suppose if you want the alignment let's say inside the wheels whatever these eps are you want them to be displayed in vertical fashion you can go here you can uh, go to arrange and you can go to vertical now they are visible vertically similarly if you want the alignment so you have to click first this go to display eps align children and you can go to left so now they are left aligned earlier they were center aligned you can right align also so i think more or less we have uh, covered everything so that's all about the eps so let us go back to the table view so this is the table view and we can close this particular window so we have successfully created the four eps under wales private limited now in case some project comes so we know where to place which particular project if a project related to technology services comes so we will place that project under the eps of technology services okay so i hope you understood this so that's all about eps in further videos we'll be discussing about creation of new projects adding of activities and much more stay tuned thank you